Rasvet Russian Rasvet lit dawn also known as the Mini Research Module 1 MRM1 Russian Malyislodovetelske Module MIM1 and formerly known as the Docking Cargo Module DCM is a component of the International Space Station ISS the module's design is similar to the Mir docking module launched on STS-74 in 1995. RASVET is primarily used for cargo storage and as a docking port for visiting spacecraft. It was flown to the ISS aboard Space Shuttle Atlantis on the STS-132 mission on May 14, 2010, and was connected to the ISS on May 18. The hatch connecting RASVET with the ISS was first opened on May 20. On 28 June 2010, the Soyuz TMA-19 spacecraft performed the first docking with the module. <laughs> <laughs> Details RASVET was docked to the Nadir port of Zaria with help from the SSRMS. RASVET carried externally attached outfitting equipment from NASA for the Norca Multipurpose Laboratory Module MLM, a spare elbow joint for the European robotic arm, Nauka's experiment airlock for launching CubeSats, and a radiator. Delivering RASVET thus enabled NASA to fulfill its promise to ship 1.4 metric tons to equip the MLM. RASVET has two docking units, one to attach to the Nadir port of the Zaria module, and one to provide a docking port for a Soyuz or Progress spacecraft. It implements the role of the docking and stowage module from the original ISS design. Russia announced the cancellation of the last of the two planned Russian research modules when it announced the plans for RASVET. Initial planning The initial ISS plan included a docking and storage module DSM. This planned Russian element was intended to provide facilities for stowage and an additional docking port, and would have been launched to the station on a proton launch vehicle. The DSM would have been mounted to Zaria's Nadir Earth -facing docking port. It would have been similar in size and shape to the Zaria module. The DSM was cancelled due to Russian budgetary constraints for some time, but its design was eventually modified into the docking and cargo module Rasvet that was to be connected to the same Zaria location to provide stowage space and a docking port. During the cancellation period, it was proposed that a multi-purpose module MPM called Enterprise should be docked to Zaria, and later the multi-purpose laboratory module MLM was proposed to be located there as well, but the Enterprise module has since been cancelled and the MLM will be docked to Zvezda's Nadir port instead. Purpose. RASVET was designed as a solution to two problems facing the ISS partners. NASA was under contract to carry the MLM outfitting equipment into space. The overlapping missions of the Progress, Soyuz, and ATV spacecraft highlighted the need to have four Russian docking ports available on the ISS. The cancellation of both Russian research modules meant that the ISS would be left with just three such docking ports after the installation of the permanent multipurpose module in 2011, which made the Nadir port of Zaria unusable. RASVET solved both of these issues. NASA did not need to add another payload flight to accommodate the MLM outfitting equipment, as it could attach the hardware to the exterior of MRM 1. The ISS now had four docking ports available on the Russian segment, the aft port of Zvezda, the port of PIRs, later MLM on the Nadir port of Zvezda, the port of MRM-2 on the Zenith port of Zvezda, and the port on MRM-1 on the Nadir port of Zaria. 
Russia's cancellation of the research module thus came to be of less consequence for the ISS program as a whole. Topic: <laughs> Design and construction. The module was designed and built by SP Korolev RSC Energia, from the already made pressurized hull of the mock up for dynamic tests of the cancelled Science Power platform. On December 17, 2009, an Antonov An 124 carrying the RASVET module and ground process equipment arrived at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Upon unloading, the equipment was delivered to a pre launch processing facility run by the Astrotech. Energy specialists and technicians continued their work on the processing of the RASVET module at the facility, completing standalone electrical tests and leak tests of the module and the airlock. They also prepared the airlock and the radiative heat exchanger for installation onto RASVET. The module was moved to NASA's Space Station Processing Facility on April 2, 2010. After completing the final touches, it was placed into the shuttle payload transporter on April 5, 2010. The payload canister containing the RASVET module arrived at Launch Pad 39A on April 15, 2010. Engineers at Launch Pad 39A preparing Space Shuttle Atlantis had noticed paint peeling from the MRM 1 module. Although the problem was declared to have no impact on the operation of RASVET, it posed a potential threat of releasing debris on orbit. Topic. Specifications Source Topic. Visited spacecraft RASVET was connected to Nadir port of Zaria on May 18, 2010. Topic. Gallery Topic Location on ISS Topic See also Poisk ISS module PIRs ISS module